everyone, welcome back to a Stitches and Scribbles bullet journal video. This video is going to be my October bullet journal spreads. I started off the same way I always do, by marking the edge of my page and my table of contents with colored tape. I know this looked like the third identical purple, but I promise they actually do look different in person. I decided to go with a purple, lime green, and black color scheme for this month which is why I use the purple tape. I started off with my title in black. I used a combination of Crayola fine liners, which is what the marker is I'm using here, as well as Stabilo pens and Zebra mild liners. I added a spooky spider web underneath my title. I was trying to stay away from doing the wreath design that I tend to do a lot but I still ended up with kind of a rounded looking design because of how the spider web and my other details fell. Added in a cute little spider hanging down. And then I wanted it to have some pops of color, so I added some green and I started doing what I was thinking of as like magic spell animation stuff around. So I did some green stars and some purple little swirls. For my first weekly spread, I only needed three days, so I only used um, half of an open spread. I started with some dripping slime coming down from the top and filled that in. I really like drawing these slime shapes. I think I do a variation of it almost every October since I started bullet journaling. I then outlined all of the slime in black and added some little highlights to the sides of the drips to make it look more three-dimensional. Then I outlined everything again in a brighter neon green so that it looked like it was glowing. Then I did a simple outline for my daily sections. Usually Saturday and Sunday only get half a section because of how they lay out, but I gave them a full one for this week since I had the space to do it. For the second week, I decided I needed some pumpkins in my theme. I originally wasn't going to do anything orange, but once I started drawing, I really felt like doing some jack-o'-lanterns, so I went ahead and added those in, even though they weren't a part of my original plan. I decided to do one classic jack-o'-lantern and one kind of spooky one. I really had fun drawing all the pointy teeth. I then outlined both jack-o'-lanterns all in black to make them pop off the page a little better. Added some stems in green. And I filled in the cutouts with yellow. I started with a darker shade of yellow to give it a little bit of dimension. And then filled in the remaining space with a brighter yellow. Mm -hmm. 
I then added in the pumpkin sections with a thin dark orange pen. And then I mapped out my daily sections as well as my additional journaling and note sections that I do at the top and the bottom. For this weekly spread, I wanted to do a bubbling cauldron, and I went with more of a purple and lavender theme for this page since I had just done green and orange. I really like using the zebra mild liners for most of my designs now because I like the coverage that they get but I wish they came in more colors, which is why I tend to supplement with the Crayola Super Tips. The Zebra Mild Liners really only come in pastel and bright colors, so if you want something darker, the Crayola Super Tips um, look similar enough that you can kind of blend the two styles together. I did some of the same little stars and swirls that I did on my opening page. I just kept the whole design in purple this time. At this point, I remembered that I actually had some Halloween washi tape, so I decided to use those for the final two spreads. This one was a black, white, and gold design with just little rectangles with some Halloween phrases on them. Then I did a fairly simple outline for the rest of the page to let the tape really stand out. And I used my remaining skeleton washi tape for the final design. I outlined this whole one first since I knew that the tape was going to cover the dividing sections that I wanted to cover. And that kind of helped me create straighter, more even lines. This tape has little dancing skeletons on it. I thought it was really super cute. I also really love skeletons, as you can probably tell from other things on my channel, so I knew I had to use this in my Halloween design. Anytime the tape didn't quite go up to the top line, I just filled in with a little bit of black instead of recutting a tiny piece of tape. I then decided to do a lime green accent around each strip of tape to add a little bit of color back in.
For my trackers, I did my usual thing of doing each box in a different color and then having my mood tracker be in the center. So I started with my habit tracker. I did accidentally miscount my habit tracker and only gave myself room for 30 days instead of 31, so I'll have one row of dots um, underneath the tracker instead of where it's supposed to be, but that's okay. I also decided to combine my health and exercise sections this time. I think I just called it health um, because I realized I didn't need two separate spaces for those things. They could be combined into one. For my mood tracker, I decided to do a big spider web because it was really easy to mark out the sections for each day. Then I put in my moods at the bottom, just like I always do. And as always, I had to flip back and check what they actually are because I can never remember. I used all my shades of purple, green, and orange so that I had a color for each mood. Oh, and yellow too. Here is the final flip through. I hope you enjoyed seeing these designs and gave you some spooky inspiration for your own bullet journal or other drawings. I always have the most fun doing my October spreads because it's my favorite time of year. I think my favorite one from this month is the jack-o'-lantern spread and the skeleton washi tape spread. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next video. Bye everyone!